Hey guys, welcome to my channel in my next Pixelmator Pro tutorial. I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials on Pixelmator Pro because a lot of you guys really want more Pixelmator content. So if you're new to Pixelmator, you might want to check out another video I did. It's the first in this series. It's the quick start tutorial. This tutorial is going to focus mostly on clipping masks and blend modes. This is the project we're going to be creating together today. This photo you can snag off of Pixabay for free. I will link to it down below so you can follow right along. All right, guys, let's just jump right into it. This is the welcome screen when you first open Pixelmator Pro. Let's create a new document and let's make some custom dimensions here. I'm going to make the width on this 17 inches and the height 11 and a half. And let's increase the resolution to 300 pixels per inch and hit create. I'm going to hit command minus to zoom out on my screen a little bit here. And you can see that this dimension kind of mimics a two page magazine layout. We're going to have some fun today and pretend we're working for a fashion magazine. I've never worked at a magazine, but let's just be creative and have fun, right? Why not? All right. So the first thing I need to do is drop in this photo that we grabbed off of Pixamay. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into my Pixelmator project. And I'm going to resize it so it's a little small so that the height of it fits perfectly in our frame. Now we want to cut her off of the background. And the easiest way to do this is this little button up here. This is the remove background button and Pixelmator uses machine learning to cut the background out from the subject. And I love using this image because if we zoom in here, look at what a great job it did on all of this fur trim on her jacket. It does such a good job and that is not easy to do. So I think Pixelmator's remove background feature is super impressive. All right, let me zoom back out a little bit again here and I'm going to reposition our model more to the right side of the screen. And then in our layers panel, I'm going to disable her and let's focus on just this background image layer. I'm going to add an effect to this layer so I can click this button over here or I can use the F key as a shortcut. Let's hit add effect and we are going to go down to fill and we're going to look for the gradient fill option. All right, now we can customize the colors of our gradient fill. I'm going to grab this black color tag here and I'm going to manually enter an alphanumeric code for our color, which is going to be A to C four C nine and just hit enter. And that's the color I'm looking for. Now over here on the white color tag, we're going to do the same with a different color code, which is going to be EA9999. And now I'm going to dial down that opacity on that side to 60%. All right, let's enable our photograph again. And I want to get another copy of this photo. So I'm just going to select it in my layers pane, right click and hit duplicate. And then I'm going to move the original version above the copy version. I'm going to disable the original by unchecking it here in my layers panel, select the copy and hit the V key to get the selection tool. You can see I've got this bounding box here now, and I'm just going to move her a little bit to the left in our frame. All right, now I'm going to reach for my shape tool, which can be found here in our tools menu. And I'm going to draw a rectangle all the way around covering our model. And now let's change the color of this rectangle. So I'm going to select the color swatch here and again, manually enter a code. This one's going to be E06666. Now let's create our first clipping mask. What a clipping mask is, is basically taking an element in your project and cutting it out into a designated shape. And you do this all in the layers panel. So in my layers panel, I've got my rectangle above my woman copy. I'm going to right click on rectangle and I'm going to select create clipping mask. And now you can see what we have here. Our rectangle is now in the exact shape of the photograph of our model. Now, if I want to play with the position of this clipping mask, I wouldn't actually move the rectangle layer. Look what happens here. If I move the rectangle layer, I'm not moving the entire image of the woman. If I select the woman copy layer in my layers panel and move that, 
I can move her around until I get to the edges of my rectangle and then she starts peeking out. So if you wanted to move both of these together, what you would do is select each of them in the layers panel by holding down your shift key as you click on both and then selecting them as a group. And now you can move them around in unison. In my layers panel, I can drop down on the group and still modify each of these elements separately. They're still two separate elements. Now let's work with our first blend mode. We're gonna select that rectangle and up here on the top left of the layers panel, under this drop down, we are going to select color dodge. And we can see she's these really bright saturated colors now. Now we're going to select the copy of our photograph here in our layers panel, and we're going to dial down that opacity to 45%. So that's the look we want to achieve. I'm going to enable our original photograph here. And now I'm going to tweak the placement of this group that we just created. So I'm going to select the entire group so I can move both the rectangle and the woman copy in unison. And I wanna slide that group a little bit to the left. And I'm going to slide my original woman a little to the right as well. What I'm aiming for is to make sure I can see this eye in the background image. Let me just do some more fine tuning. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's move on to the next elements in our image, which are text elements. So to add text, just hit T for the type tool and click anywhere in your canvas there. My little text box is so tiny. So over here in my inspector, I'm just going to dial this way up and we're gonna type the word in lowercase letters, faux. And then we're going to highlight that text that we just typed and I'm going to head on over to the inspector and we're going to use this font here called Bafali script. Let's change the color of this to the same color that we made our rectangle. Remember this kind of bright coral here. And so let's type in that color code again. It is E06666. And I'm gonna scale up this text all the way up to about, let's say 863 is where I landed. Now I'm gonna select that layer in my layers panel and duplicate it. I'm gonna grab that duplicate and move it down. And now in all caps, I'm going to type the word fur and I'm going to select that text by highlighting it and change this font to Bevis New. And let's increase the size on this considerably. All right, I landed at 1436 there. Now I wanna play with the placement of both of these lines of text. If I'm still selected on the type tool here in my tools menu, and I click in the canvas, it's just gonna create a new text box for me. So I wanna make sure I hit the V key to get back to the selection tool. So I can easily just grab these guys without creating new text. And I wanna place each of these lines of text so they are overlapping our main photo and the background. Okay, to me, this looks good. I'm going to select in the layers panel, both of those lines of text. I'm going to right click to group them and then I'm going to duplicate this group. Now I wanna take my group copy, which includes my text, and I'm gonna drag it in my layers panel under our original photo. So we have one version of text you can see here above the main photo and one below. Let's add another clipping mask to our top group of text. So I'm going to select it in my layers panel, right click and create a clipping mask. Now I'm going to disable my copy of the text. So you can see what we've done with that clipping mask. We only see the parts of the text that overlap with our original photo. Now I'm going to select that group and we're going to change the blend mode of this. So up here at the top of our layers panel, let's select screen. Now let's enable our group copy text and let's change the blend mode of this one as well. We're going to select exclusion. All right, we're almost totally done, but just to really sell that this is like a fashion spread in a real magazine, you notice how they always have like little credits in the corner of the spread. So I'm going to add that as well. I'm going to hit T for the type tool and I'm going to click in my canvas in the very top left corner. I'm gonna select all of this text. I'm going to reduce the size of it way down and I'm going to paste in some content here that I already made. This font size I'm gonna to bring to about 48 and I'm on Helvetica New, and let's make it a thin treatment on the font. And there you go, there's my little fun fashion photo spread. If you guys liked this tutorial, if you wanna see more Pixelmator Pro, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, you guys. I'll see you again.